memory map. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. I got some pancakes ready for you. I forgot to buy the syrup, but we have some condensed milk. Come sit down. Mom, can I skip breakfast just for today? Don't even think about it. A teacher cannot be hungry. Either you will eat the kids or they will eat you. Ah. <sighs> Mom, last night I had that dream again. About Paris? About the accident. I really don't understand. Well, I was driving the car, but I don't know how to drive. You shouldn't have gone to work very soon. What did the doctors tell you? You should avoid stressful situations, and you decided to become a teacher. So now your brain is taking it against you. But mom, at least it works for me. For four years I've been embroidering. I can't do it anymore. There is no shame in embroidering. You have a knack for it. Look how beautiful these pieces are, hmm? Well, everything is perfect. There's peace and love. You have fine motor skills, just like what the doctor has advised. What have you got now? What? Teachers' meetings, meetings with your students' parents, and also little rascals bringing a cat to class. You forgot to mention the test today. We have a regional test for ninth graders. Mm-hmm. And you're expecting to get a full night of sleep? <laughs> Having that situation, anybody would really have nightmares. I'm not talking about the accident. Mm, accidents normally happen. I completely understand that. I don't understand why I was on the wheel. I wasn't driving, right? You know it yourself. Yet you keep on asking me. That rascal was driving. That Alex. Thank goodness he already left town. After he'd nearly put you into your grave. I wish I could strangle him with my hands. Well, maybe there's a meaning to all this. Mom, I think it's really my good fortune to free up some space for my true love. So tell me right now, who are you going to love there? There's only one man in your school, and it's the principal, and he's married. <laughs> Listen, Lisa, schools are not for groom hunting. Okay, fine, don't worry. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to be late. Mama, your cooking is too good. I forgot about the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh, you're here, Miss Lisa. This is a regional level test. I guess you could have come in earlier. I'm sorry, Mr. Victor. Well, the commission's already here. They'll be overseeing mm -hmm. the entire examination. If ever, uh -huh. wait at the hallway in case they need help. Uh -huh. If anyone asks for something, just go and assist them. Uh -huh. And as usual, please help and give chance to those who are struggling. They already know the subject. Of course they do. But if they go out to drink some water or go to the restroom, make sure to find a way to help them out. You know what I mean. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Oleg. He's our new geography teacher. And this here is Miss Elizabeth Andreevna. Mr. Oleg, you'll be assisting us today. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to take this call. <clears throat> Hello? Okay, I'll be right there. Excuse me. <clears throat> Make sure he gets to... I mean, just guide him properly. Uh -huh. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way. <clears throat> you are Mr. Oleg, am I right? Yes, I'm Oleg. Well, to be honest, it has been six months that we haven't had a geography teacher in here. Thank you. Actually, I applied for the language and literature department. I'm a graduate of literature. Poetry major. Mm. I sat at Yevtushenko's desk. Have you read him? The window gives out onto white trees. I looked outside that very window for five years. I even don't know who could be better at teaching literature at your school. But that position is taken. But on the brighter side, I traveled quite a lot. I know my subject very well. That's why I'm your new geography teacher. Well, I teach language and literature. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, miss. You're going to? To our literature class? There's an ongoing regional test. Of course I know. I'm the vice principal. Tell me who you are. It's my first day. I'm the geography teacher. I understand. In that case, call Margarita Sidorova. Please say that her mother is calling her right now. May I know why her mother is calling? 
Hmm, I believe that Miss Lyudmila would like to help Rita a little bit. I remember that she's applying to the Regional Lyceum this year, that's why she needs to have good grades. Well, it means she has studied hard for this test. I know she can do it, even without her mother's help. If you will not help me, just step Stay aside! Stay where you are! You've disgraced not only yourself and your daughter, but also the school. I made a deal with the Commission member. Everything will be quiet. The principal is aware of this. Is that commission member red-headed with a mustache? So did he personally allow your daughter to cheat? You were speaking too loudly and we can hear your voices inside the room! Miss Ludmila here implies that you personally allowed her daughter to cheat. Please clarify, is it true? Have you all gone crazy here? I have always wanted to do that. Really? That's right. So what's stopping you? The fear of consequences. You do understand that she has not made a deal with a commission member directly. That's why I'm sure that you will be in big trouble. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes right now. <laughs> I didn't even say a single word. Well, you should have said something. Mr. Oleg is new in our school. You've been with us much longer. You should have taken the situation under control. You can't expect him to do it. And now because of you, Margarita, may not get enough points to enter the regional lyceum. So you have little faith in your daughter? You know what, Miss Lisa? You leave me no other choice but to issue a warning. You must take responsibility. Miss Lisa, please forgive me. If I had known that something like this would happen, I wouldn't let them blame you for what I did. Let them issue reprimand letters all they want. I don't care. Ultimately, people at the Lyceum are not fools. If they suspect the grades are fake, I'll definitely be facing more well-grounded questions. Yes, that is also true. What if... What if we have lunch together? I drop by your canteen. It's not Rio de Janeiro. There is a nice little cafe across the street, though. Maybe if I treat you... My conscience will stop gnawing at me. Hmm? So, you are a traveler then? No. I hate staying in one place for a long time. It's very obvious that you don't like to since you've come this far to Kasnokomsk. Where were you born? In Moscow. Mm. Please don't be very surprised. I'm handling an inheritance matter. Can you tell me what brought you here? I'm a local. Just like that, you're born and raised here? Uh-huh. Well, I moved to Kostrovsk for four years to study at the university. And then I came back. So that's it? Uh-huh. Hmm. I couldn't live like that. Teaching for how many? Five or seven years? Not really. It's my first year of teaching. Oh. Right after graduation, I got into a really bad car accident. And then... I was recuperating for almost four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. It was really serious. Were you driving? Oh, no, I don't drive. My boyfriend was the one who drove the car. Mm-hmm. He lost control of the car and suddenly smashed into a post. He was just fine, but I got seriously injured. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He already left me. He must have thought that I was going to need help for the rest of my life. Something like that, you know? Well, how did he... It's no use asking about the details. I still don't remember anything. I got a severe brain concussion with hypoxia. Right now, you know everything about me. And you have heard my life story. But I haven't heard anything about you. Do you want to share something? Well, my grandma. She's living in Krasnokolmsk. Uh -huh. My father asked me to give up everything and take care of her. Can't you relocate your grandma to Moscow? <laughs> it's not that simple. <laughs> grandma lives by the rule you belong to where you were born. At home, even the walls will help. You know what I mean. She's a stubborn old lady. And my dad takes after her. By the way, my dad is the CEO of a company called TVIL.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce to you Mr. Yevgeny Orlikov. Mr. Orlikov right here is the head of TVIL and will be developing a residential block overlooking the ancient park named after Count Odietsev. You can ask your questions right now. I've got a question. You probably haven't heard about my dad around here. He mainly operates in Moscow. Uh, probably not. There you go. We had a deal. If I stick around here for two years, teaching in school and looking after my dear grandma, he will put me in his will. <laughs> if not, he'll leave all to the competitors. Well, that was somewhat harsh. It's not that bad. Your place is not the worst place on earth. The town is lovely. The people are different. Just like anywhere else. <laughs> By the way, just take that incident with the vice principal today that could have happened anywhere like in Moscow or Mumbai. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll hear some from the principal. What can he do to you? Fire you? He'll be teaching if he does that. <laughs> How can it be possible that my diploma is fake? You tell me. The committee checked it. Your diploma is not in our records. I understand that this can be a terrible mistake on your part. You are a highly qualified teacher. You've been showing everyone good results, and the pupils adore you. But you have to understand, there is nothing I can do if the numbers don't match. I have to be fair. What do I do now? Well, you better do something. You have to resolve this matter at once. And what if I don't? I need to resign? Just aim higher. Counterfeiting state-issued documents is a criminal offense. And so, prove your innocence as soon as possible. So everyone won't think that... You just printed your diploma at home, because your name is at stake here, and you should do something about this, or else you will stain the school's name. It entails criminal liability. Does he really think I counterfeited it? No, actually, he was thinking about how to hurt you more, because he didn't allow the vice principal's daughter to cheat. Let me go talk to him man to man. Wait, I think you shouldn't. Lisa, he doesn't have a problem with you. It's because of me, so I'll deal with it. Good afternoon. All right, my friends. The tramway image in Gumilev's poem is the image of revolution. The author can't remember how he hopped on the wagon. He's just steaming ahead through time and can't stop this huge machine. That was something he's trying to do. Uh, children, continue reading the poem now. I'll be right back in two minutes. Read and think about it. <clears throat> Honestly, we really have a problem with your diploma. Uh. The head of the commission has explained everything to me in detail. So what should we do? We should go to the institute and request that they correct this error. You really did study there, right? Well, yes. My mother says I did. But I can't remember anything. That's it. You have nothing to worry about. The secretary will verify the numbers, and you'll be an entitled member of society. You just need to... Take some proof that you studied there, just to be on the safe side. Why do you want those photos so much? I know that you're a graduate, and you know it too. Why should we prove that to anyone else? Mom, I just want to keep my job. That's why I will have to prove it. Then go work for some normal people. Work for those who won't slander a person, just because of some numbers. Mom, why don't you try to remember where my graduation photos are, and we'll be okay. They were just over there. <sighs> do you suspect your own mother? That I did something else? Wait, hold on. What about my notes? I must have some textbooks or something from school. Of course there was, but I threw them away a long time ago. There's nothing <sighs> left here. But why did you do that? They were consuming the space. Come on, check it. I'll show you. Lisa, the shelf here doesn't have enough space for all your notebooks or for the medicine that the doctor prescribed you. And here you have ultrasound results. Tomography and medical history, it's volumes, Lisa. Volumes were written about you by a lot of doctors. What do you think is better? Is it to keep your notebooks or finally a cure for you, huh? Mom, please forgive me. You see, I just want to find something that could help me to prove them wrong. And you want some proof that you study there? Well, let me explain it to them. I'll tell them a story of how I brought you up alone, of her having sleepless nights and how I sent you to that institute only to see you get tangled up with that bastard Stanko. He was bad for you. And now only to see everything crumble to dust in a single day, in a single moment. Oh my goodness, why is this happening? Mom, please forgive me. Mom. Mom, what's wrong with you, huh? 
Oh my What's God. going on? Talk to me, Mom. <sighs> What's wrong? Should I call the ambulance? Mom, please hold on. I'll call the ambulance. God damn it. Hello. Mr. Oleg, good afternoon. This is Lisa Kovalskaya. I wanted to know who is teaching my classes. Uh, I can't make it to class. I have an emergency. You? That's excellent. I think you are the best man for the job. We are currently studying the Silver Age. No, not yet. As of now, I have not been to the Institute. Actually, my mother got hospitalized today. Yes, I had to postpone the trip. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go tomorrow. Please excuse me. I'll call you back later. Oh, Mom, tell me. How could this happen to you? Wait. My heart is aching for you, Lisa. What do they say? Well, it's an allegory. No need to turn it into a diagnosis. You see, you know such fancy words. And you've doubted your education. <sighs> Mom, let's not talk about that for now. All you have to do is rest. And the doctor told you not to worry. Lisa, I will just stop worrying if you will decide to leave that godforsaken school. But how can I do that? It's easy. Don't go to confirm your diploma and that's it. Problem solved. Will you still go? Tell me you won't go. <sighs> just say you won't go there. I will not go there. Excuse me, doctor. I need to ask something. Uh, please don't think that I doubt your diagnosis earlier. But are you sure my mom's condition is bad? So what are you implying? Of course I understand that she has a weak heart and all. But is it necessary for me to give up work just to look after her? From a physical perspective, of course I can say your mother can take care of herself. But see, she's having a real hard time enduring your constant absence at home. But I simply cannot- Well, listen to me. If you can't do it, it's entirely up to you. My question to you right now is how dear your mother is to you. Doctor, thank you for talking to my daughter. I heard you both. I should remind you that your situation's not that bad. And I think you don't need your daughter at your side 24-7. But doctor, you don't know what kind of work she has. Honestly, I'm concerned for every pupil as much as she is. Now that's a huge problem. It's so dangerous for your health. So my advice to you as your doctor is to distract yourself. Maybe play some sports, do some light exercise, or explore the internet. What kind of sports? What kind of routines? You know better than me that my blood pressure goes up and down. It's like a yo-yo. 200 in the morning, 90 during the day, and 200 in the evening. And you want me to run. Right. You must manage your blood pressure. Here. Here's a prescription. Take it three times a day. But I took that already. It's a bandage on a wooden leg. Give me something stronger than that. Well, let's try this one out. It's new technology. But it's quite expensive. I have to orient you. It's not available in Krasnokalms. You'll have to order from Moscow. So what? Will it help? Of course, I insist. I beg you. You have to... at least do some cardio. My daughter is the only cardio I need. Miss Lisa, oh, are you back for you us? So much. Hey, Miss Lisa, you back here good? Uh, oh, guys, Lisa. I really wish I, I could. Book, and I didn't understand anything about this writing. So nothing at all. We were <laughs> you, Miss Lisa. I miss you too, guys. I really do. I miss teaching every one of you. Happy to welcome you back, Miss Lisa Andreevna. Everyone, what is the noise all about? Come on, go back to your classrooms and get ready. You have classes to attend to. I hope you brought me your new diploma. Not yet. I have come to write a letter of resignation. I understand. I thought you won't be back here until your mom is feeling better. 
I plan not to be back at all. Honestly, I wanted to submit a letter of voluntary resignation. But the principal says if the diploma is fake, there is no need to submit anything. First, they'll fire me, as set forth by the law. And then put me in prison, too. <laughs> I dislike the principal even more now. Yes, I don't like him either. But it's okay, I'll just go to the institute. I'll renew my diploma and make sure to... to have a graceful exit. No. I believe you shouldn't quit right now. We should continue to irritate that crazy man. <laughs> and I'll be helping you with that. Just come back sooner, because it's harder to do it alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, Lisa, you heard me right. They said that if I'll be well taken care of, they could discharge me tomorrow. Well, Mom, it is such wonderful news to hear from you. Let me come to get you tomorrow morning. Please just wait for me. What about today? Won't you visit me? Um... I'll visit you today. Maybe later in the evening. I can't right now. I have a little headache. Well, I don't really know. I think the weather is changing. The weather is changing? What part is aching? Is it the back of your head? Mom, there's pain in my temples. I'm sure it must be the weather. All right. Take a pill right now. I worry so much about you. Don't forget to call me. Please, Mom, don't worry so much about me. I won't forget to drink the pill, rest in bed, and come to visit you in the evening, all right? Uh-huh, all right then. All right, Mom. I love you so much. Take care. Goodbye. See you. Man, Goodbye. I think we're near. Going to Kotrovsky Pedagogical Institute. Search for it. Miss Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Oleg. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble remembering the place that I'm going to, and it's a shame that I can't find the Pedagogical Institute. Lisa, please, just be casual. Maybe I am Mr. Oleg in our school, but right here I suggest we chat like ordinary people. <laughs> you can just call me Oleg. All right. Would you mind helping me find the Institute? Um... Will you please help me? I'm sure I can. Show me the address. Actually, I've learned my way around while I was on the city tour. So what kind of tour? Let's go, I'll tell you on the way. Come follow me. <laughs> that was my favorite spot. Let's visit it later. I'll oh, be thanks. careful. It's the same with the people. I learned that sometimes small people become mature enough after a very traumatic experience. Well, here's your alma mater. Do you remember? We don't have a Lisa Kovalskaya. It must be because you're searching for the diploma number. Perhaps when they entered it into the system, they made some kind of error. What do you expect me to do? Well, you can let us see the archives and we'll find it ourselves. All right, follow me. Hello, Mom. What is it? Yes. Well, it's better, but not perfect. How are you? What did the doctor say? All right, then. Yes, I'm fine. I'm doing better. Exactly. See you tonight. See you. Bye. Kisses. 
Sorry about that. It's just my mom worrying about me. How many places are there left where my folder may be? I've dug through everything. I don't know. Either someone took your documents or... Are you sure you studied here? How come my documents are missing if I did study there? Well, you can't remember for sure. But how is this even possible? My mom told me stories about how I got B grades and was frustrated about it. She said that I used to act in a student's performance group. We even have photographs. So there were some photographs, right? Um, well, yes. I saw those photographs myself. Some of them were printed out, others were stored in a flash drive. But we couldn't find it anywhere. <sighs> Can you drive faster? My mother's waiting for me at the hospital. Hey, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy. We got a punctured tire. As flat as can be. All right, we'll change it. Hello, Mom, it's me. Um, I'm sorry, but can I not come see you tonight? Yes, the headache's still there. No, no. I took the pills. It's all right now. Mm, let me drop by, maybe... tomorrow morning. Uh, tonight I'd rather stay in bed, all right? Yes, I promise I will. We'll get you tomorrow. Yes, all right, bye. Thank you so much, Oleg. If it weren't for you, I would never have found the Institute, let alone make it home on my own. Listen, why don't you bring the photographs from the Institute? We will scan them and attach them to a letter to the Ministry. Are you saying I should write to the Ministry of Education? <sighs> what else can we do? Better bring everything. Maybe you'll find something else. Your student's record book or notes. <laughs> I don't have notes. I have a magna cum laude diploma. Well, maybe you could come up and take a look at the photographs. Don't offer any tea. I only drink coffee. <laughs> well, let's go to the kitchen. How about a Turkish coffee? Sounds good. This is not how I imagined your home. Right. Here, can you grind it yourself? It's just that none of us drink coffee. <laughs> sure, I got this. The best barista in Norway taught me how to grind coffee. Do you like it strong? After the accident, I can't drink coffee anymore. Oh, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me scan them at home and bring them back to you. Uh -huh. Put them in my bag, please. Hey, Mom. Please, can you just forgive me? He's Oleg, and I only work with him in school. 
He just dropped by for 10 minutes. I don't care if he dropped by for 10 minutes. There's no place for me here at all. Don't worry, I'll be gone soon. Please, Mom, stop saying this nonsense. You could have simply told me that. Mother, I have a man in the house. I'm not going to visit you at the hospital. But you pretended to have a headache. And I believed you. I thought that m maybe you had a, a spasm or an, an aneurysm, a relapse. I, I pictured every horrible outcome while I was running to you here from the hospital. Mom. And you were just having fun. <laughs> Mom, he just dropped by for five minutes. He gave me a ride and then we decided to have some coffee. That's it. So he gave you a ride? Yes, I went to the institute to get the papers. I went there by bus and he gave me a ride home. This means you lied to me again. Mom... Mom, I didn't mean to. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's really important to me. I cannot even officially resign without that document. <laughs> Did they find your diploma? Mm -mm. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh, my poor little girl. You just had to deal with some inept administrators. Do you know hmm? how many of those are there at the hospital? Oh, yes. I had to double check everything. Each prescription, each request, each referral, 20 times to make sure. They kept putting the wrong stamp or mixing up letters. Lisa. Hmm? Come on, Lisa. We'll get through this. Mm -hmm. You are a true teacher, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Five years of studies. Mm -hmm. I'll come with you to get it. I'll tear that diploma from them with my own teeth. Let me just get better. And we'll go, all right? Thank you. Look, don't try to memorize everything. You have to know two or three topics and steer all of your answers towards those topics. That's the key to passing. <laughs> sure. Big talk from the academic star. You better tell us, how do you put the textbook under your pillow? Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> and how you waved your record book out the window at night for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how it's going at Newsbox. Are you just a coffee girl, or do they give you real work? Tomorrow, I am going to interview the Moscow Chief of Emercom, all by myself! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> nice. wow. Look at this. Uh, here's our lesson plan till the end of the month for ninth graders. Uh -huh. Here too. These are methodology recommendations. And here we have extracurricular reading for fifth graders. Take it. Lisa, please don't think that it was my idea. The principal asked to fill in for you until you come back. Well, what's left? The academic year is ending soon. Well, take all her papers all you want. Lisa is not coming to that school again. <clears throat> oh. Looks hard on the first try. <laughs> I need to consult you personally. Don't sweat it, you just read it. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Seriously, I'll drown if you don't help me out. Or do you want me to fail in front of the kids? Mm. All right, come on in, I'll help you. Not here. The atmosphere here is depressing, sorry. Mm, right. Okay, meet me in one hour. I'll try to break free from this place. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, the library is a whole kilometer away, minimum. We're not going to the library. Uh, there's a cafe nearby. <laughs> Better. There's a beach. We agreed to discuss work, remember? Well, judging by my experience in Goa, 
Working at the beach is way more efficient. Hmm. I mustn't swim. Why not? Do you have rabies? Oh, get lost. Oh, I get it. Your mother won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's just that, after the accident, I can have a seizure attack any time in any place. I don't even close the door to the bathroom. Mom is afraid I might drown while I'm inside. <laughs> well, don't be afraid. I am a good swimmer. And you don't have to worry. I will be watching you without blinking. Here, take this. I hope I guess the size right. Listen, all this a monument to myself stuff, do you think the kids will be interested? Hmm. Well, it was interesting to you when you were at school, or you wouldn't have majored in literature. It was for me, but those kids are totally different from us. They only study geography to relocate. Oh, come on, they're good kids. You just don't know them yet. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I hope it'll get better over time, because it can't get any worse. I got myself in a pickle. You know, someone tripped up in Simonov. Mm -hmm. He fell down the stairs. Mm. From top to bottom. I feel bad for him. You know, they could have caught him at the top. And Lopatin was standing near him. But instead of helping him, he whipped out his phone and started filming him. Well, that's what they do these days. I gave up fighting it. So I took his phone and I told him... Mm. I'd only give it back to his parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still have the phone with me. And his parents are not coming for it. Then yesterday I saw Lopatin with a new phone. Mm. Honestly, I'm at a loss to what to do next. Mm, you need to call the parents or else... Who knows what allegations they'd come up with. <laughs> I must say, the sun is out. All right, let's talk about Turgenev. All right. <clears throat> Would you mind if I shoved him from the main course to additional reading? Mm -mm. Wow, did you have a C-section? Oh. No, this is a scar left after the accident. Oh. I'm sorry, it's just that my mother had the same, so I thought... It's nothing. I think I may go for a swim. How about you? Are you coming? I'm coming with you. How's the water? I guess it's all right. Are you okay? Lisa! 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 Easy. Easy now. It's all right. Breathe. Come on. You're fine. We're almost there. There, it's all right. You're going to be fine. Just breathe. That's better. Hey, take it easy. All right? You're fine. Come on. Come here. Oh, wow, are those dumplings, Mom? Aren't you the sweetest on earth? I was checking essays on Lermontov while you were making them. So now I associate them with Lermontov. A lonely sail is flashing white amidst the blue mist of the sea. Mmm. <laughs> so good. How was your study group? Mmm, I must say it went rather well. I gave him my notes, made some marks, explained everything so he won't drown on the lesson plan. He won't drown. You did study at the library, though. Or are you lying to me again? You're quite good at lying to me.
I come in? Why are you treating me like an enemy, my dear? Lisa. You are everything to me. I only live for you. If anything should happen to you, what would I do, huh? Lisa, I'd die. I won't be able to endure a second tragedy. It'll be the death of me. <laughs> Lisa. I've never lied to you. I'm not hiding anything from you. I've always taught you to be open and honest to other people. Oh yes, you can't remember any of it. After that cursed accident. Mom, please forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> oh dear, you're a good girl, all right? You're my sweet, loving yes. daughter. You just got a little confused, but you'll be fine. Yes. I'm glad we had this conversation. Please forgive me. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed, Lisa. Tomorrow will be a new day for you. Hello? Hi there. Oleg. Yes. Did I wake you up? <clears throat> no, it's okay. Did something happen? Nothing in particular. Listen, I looked at the pictures you gave me yesterday. Mm. I don't know how to send them to the ministry. Those photos are... Oleg, enough. Let's wrap this up because I'm sure that I'm not going to recover my diploma. I'll just leave the school and that's it. That's it? What about the liability for counterfeiting? Oleg, my mother is ill. I must take care of her. Is your mom there? You can't talk, right? Yes, bye. Mm. You're up already? Good morning, sunshine. How about some hot crepe? Mm -hmm. With some strawberry jam. <laughs> Lisa? Are you pregnant? No, Mom, no way. Why are you suddenly interested in C-sections? It's just that... I have the same scar as they do. <sighs> Lisa... You know that after the accident, they had to stitch you back together. They took your insides out, and then put them back in proper order. And you expect not to have any scar? They look the same. Yes. It looks like all the other scars after abdominal surgery. You have a vivid imagination. Oh, well. Anyway, here, eat your crepe. Mom, how did it happen? How come this whole time I have never been regularly monitored by a gastroenterologist or a gynecologist? Mm. And the uh, only ones treating such severe aftermath of an accident were neurologists, huh, Mom? Listen, my dear. Someone needs to take their mind off their obsession or do something else. Mom, I've never had a stomach issue this whole time, so what is it? Of course you didn't, dear. You've had some good doctors. Right, go to the store now and fetch some milk. And some sausage. I like veal. All right. Oleg, hi there. It's a good thing that I met you here. You couldn't talk in the morning, right? I'm sorry, my mother doesn't know about the criminal liability, and if she hears about it, I can't even think of what will happen. Well, then I have another piece of news that she wouldn't like. All the photos you sent to me had been edited rather well. But it simply cannot be. I couldn't believe it myself, but you have to see this. We can take a look, my place is not far. Well, let's go. Come on. Mm hmm.
Good afternoon. Hello there. Good afternoon, my dears. Hi there, Gran. Oleg, dear, don't forget to offer slippers to your guests. Goes without saying. Here, put them on. Thank you. Please come in. Is she really your grandmother? You thought I was lying? Have a seat. Well, this is our graduation at the Institute. Uh-huh. Now try to find yourself here. You see? This here is the original photo. I found it on one of the other graduates' profiles. And this is the Photoshop photo. Look closer. They inserted you clumsily. <clears throat> Lisa, I called you 12 times already. 12 times? Why is it so hard to pick up the phone? The store is five minutes away. You have been away for an hour. Where have you been? Mom, did I really study at that institute or not? I don't understand. Neither do I, Mom. The photographs from my graduation are photoshopped. Maybe I was not there. Maybe my diploma is truly fake. What are you saying? Tell me, have I ever lied to you? I don't know, Mom. Lisa, what photo editing? Who told you that? That Oleg? What does he know? And how, how could I have done such a thing if I don't even know how to use a computer? What are you accusing me of, Lisa? I can't remember my life before the accident. Be honest, you didn't tell me everything. Well, what do you want me to say? What is out there that I haven't told you? <sighs> Mother! <laughs> Hi there! She doesn't know, right? Why, you didn't tell her? I'm Marina. I'm your younger sister.